Right, let's get on with it. I should do an outtake thing. If only they could see how I'm looking at you right now. This could be the best intro ever. No? No. All right. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third yeah. officer reporting. It's Ripley. Yeah, yeah I know. The other I'm listening. Of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. Yeah, we remember how that happened. Cargo and ship destroyed. Yep. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. It's quite good how she lended her voice to the, this is the makers of the game. Well, you couldn't really have anyone else. Last could survivor you? of the Nostromo. Signing off. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. He's got a bottom jaw on him, isn't he? A commercial mm -hmm. vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. No, she looks a bit like her. To Sevastopol station. Oh, they probably it's designed it that way. Material, so the company wants it to be collected <laughs> as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a permanent freeport. I know facility. what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. She doesn't look particularly willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Graphics quite good, aren't they? Mm. So, she'd been offered a trip on the Torrens to... So, you said this was set 15 years after the first one? Yeah. Did she already have a kid in the first one then? Because that girl looks older than 15. <laughs> so she must have done. Well, yeah, must have done then. I don't know, I can't remember it being mentioned in the first film. Maybe this is just not really all that related to the first film. Just based after the first. I don't know. Okay. So, left stick to walk. Two. Left stick. What, one or two? No, they're the shoulder buttons. Left stick. Oh. <laughs> you can see how this is going to go, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so you walk, and I think you can you, you move the camera around with the right stick, yeah? Uh. So, steady movements. Let's not make everyone seasick. Ripley. Ripley. Oh, sign in. There we go. X. A Ripley. Explore the Torrens. There you go. You've got some objectives. That's a nice touch. The the bobbin bird. That was on the table, I think, in the original, wasn't in the film. That's a fair line. Right. Head towards the door. So all these people have woken up. Yep. And they've just left me. 
that they might all be dead by now. Uh, well, I don't know yet. I don't like this double thing. What's... Turn around. What's that down there? See the console kind of orange and flashing? Ah! Put the beds down. The lids. Push it again. Okay. Just wait to see what it did. I think you're all right. I don't think the alien's going to turn up in the first ten minutes of the game. Oh, that's pretty boring. No, there's nothing to do there. Oh, you're nice shifting round on your feet there. Thanks. <coughs> the computer. Now, it's going to take ages to read through these and all of them so if we skim and if anybody if you want to pause you can pause the video and read but um, obviously we want to get the story so we'll skim read get dressed there we go Let's put some clothes on you don't get to see that nah it's not that type of game that's an objective though Okay. I wonder how you see your objectives if you push the uh, pause button. Nope, come out of that circle. Sh one of the shoulder buttons. No, any of these? No. Oh. Oh, I may have to check that out. What's in there? Is that a shower? You've just got dressed. Can you have a shower? No, it's a lift. No, it's not. Is it? Go in and have a look. <laughs> oh, <it's just> <laughs> ah, just drenched yourself. Oh, thanks for that. Uh, you told me to go in. I thought it was a lift. Oh, well, I don't know for sure. It's in the locker room. I assumed it was a shower. A couple of them. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah, I think the door. Yes. Yeah, so what's? No, oh, you've not searched that. Hear the beeping on the opposite wall. Use that. Now this is apparently the only place you can save a, the game. So say yes. So in order to save the game, you have to make it back. You to have it. to make it, not back to it. Just there'll be, oh, I would imagine there'll be a few all over the place. But you've got to make it to one of those to save the game. So you can't just quit out of it whenever you want. You have to. So if you head back to the door you came in, I'm sure there's like an objectives and um and a, like a a map of where you've been that you can see. What do these do? Nothing. Ah, so it's the touchpad and you can also scroll around the map. So there's the the hypersleep chambers and there's mm -hmm. the, the qu quarters that you're just in. And then there's an airlock. I've got to speak to Taylor and speak to Samuels. Those appear to be my objectives. Oh yeah, and you've got explore the torrents, explore the ship before you arrive. There you go, okay. That's how you get to that. I think if there's anything you can pick up or look at, it'll be flashing orange like it the mm. other things have so far. Like I, don't know. Uh, I don't know where that goes. Bring up the map again. Yes, you can go to the right and go down there and speak to Samuels. Speak to Samuels, see what he's got to say. Oh, oh. Samuels, I'm over here. Wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I'm oh, is, is he an he's android? A he's a robot. Robot. Sorry. The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. 
A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. <gasps> of course. Strange way I know it. She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Speak to Samuels. Well, I didn't quite get a chance to uh, see what, what we were planning on doing on this new Let's Play series with the missus. Um, as you can see, we're playing Alien Isolation. We will be sharing the controller every now and again or on different episodes as we go through. And uh, we hope you do enjoy it as we go through all of this. The delights of the alien and Samuels, of course. Right, shall we head out and go and speak? No, I was just checking if there's anything to use. Okay. But I don't think there is. Right. Here she is. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. Realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Yeah, we've seen Samuels. I don't think she heard you. Ooh. Looks like we're up. I've got to follow her, haven't I? No, you can have a little look around first. But yes, eventually, we've got the bridge. Let's just see if there's anything in here. There's another terminal. Oh, <laughs> shit <laughs> it is. I'm just, I'm looking forward like to it. you having to run from an alien and just <laughs> <laughs> running into the wall. <laughs> Shut up. Jogging on the spot. <laughs> There's going to be so many deaths in this. <laughs> so there's all the original crew, right? What's the shared one? Oh. Oops. Oh, it's just the Torrens master mana, master. Really said a bad word. Really said a bad word there. <laughs> right, go on then. Follow her. Oh, there's another little room. Is there any rolled up magazines in here? Oh, are they going to help me kill the alien? No, that's just a reference to the original film. Oh. Try and walk in a straight line. Hope you all had a restful journey. It's a hypersleep sickness. Yeah. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. Oh, is that like is that like mother? How are we doing? That's the main computer room, isn't it, in there? Yeah. Can't get in. No, you can't, but I think in the I think in the original film it was called Mother. Could be wrong. If anybody knows Alien better than I do, let me know in the comments if it was called Mother or not. What was that? Sorry, collect some documents. Can we see it? 
Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale in Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrens. Say again. Ooh. That doesn't sound good, does it? The station's no. comms seem pretty screwed up, so our fitted sound will suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. He doesn't need a suit, he's an android. Well. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. Stay on the ship. It's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. She's a bit of a grump, isn't she? She'll be the first one to die. <laughs> Yeah, Samuels will do whatever you tell him to do. Take your helmet off, Samuels. Fuck happened here? My God, Ripley, you're doing good, Tim. Oh. Oh shit. That's not good. Oh, where are the others gone? Taylor, respond, anybody. Okay. Well, that's not a good start, is it? Now have a look around. Find help. Yeah, change. Okay, you got out of your suit. This is where the fun begins. Can't see anything orange or flashy, can you? Right, let's go through the door. There's a save point over there. Now, there's something flashing. Is that a, is that a flare? Yep. Grab everything you can see. What are you looking for? Don't know. Just looking. Oh, 
it's not particularly stable, is it? Down here first. Just have a look over to the left. Just see if there's anything in there. No, there's nothing flashing, is there? Okay. Uh, well, we can't get across. Whoa! Right. Nice fire effect. Can't get across there. <laughs> you have to come back a bit yeah, before you see it. You climb in. Well, this isn't, you know, scary at all. You're yeah, obviously trying to make your way around the fire. There we go. Are you completely out? You're still crouched. No. Seems like you're. Yeah, there you are. Oh. So that now we know what crouch is is pushing the the, di the looking directional button. You can toggle crouch up and down. Then with that. It's fine, I was going on, if anything. That's corrupt, okay, great. Decommissioning. What does decommissioning have to say? <clears throat> Remember, guys and girls, you can pause this to have a read if you've not read it before. So, Sevastopol looks like it was in the process or going to be decommissioned. Ah. Oops. Oh. Okay. Just turn around, what's behind you? Damn. Well, I fell down, I think. Oh, okay, right. That hurt, hurt you a bit, didn't it? Oh, mm -hmm. what's that? Just on top of the boxes. Another flare, look. This will help. Ah, hold circle to open the radial inventory and use L to select items. I have two flares. Don't activate it. Oh, well, we, well you can if you want to. If you want to see where you're going, I suppose. Fire one off. Crack on. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, no, you just shoot both of them. Oh. oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, do I? <laughs> Christ. Uh, I only need a fellow anyway. It's not going to kill it, is it? No, but it might have helped you. Well, it's too late now. Where am I going? Crouch, go through there maybe. What? Push down and crouch. To go where? Turn left. Behind you. Through there. With the big light. Through there. Yeah. Well look the way you're going. No, I can't see a thing. <laughs> Easy me. Oh, don't they normally attack from above? Not necessarily. Right, stop. Look up and look around you a bit. There you go. Great. Now I'm dizzy. Stuff to pick up there. Yep. That's better. 
Uh, what else is there in here? Nothing. Okay, well there's a door. Oh no, there's stuff on the shelf to the left there, is there? A sensor. Uh, anything else? Nope. Okay. So we've got some red flashing lights on some doors, so I'm assuming they're locked. Is that is that a model of the Sevastopol? Yeah, it is. Look. Nope. Can't do nothing with that. Oh. <laughs> this alien's going to creep up on you, and you're going to be looking at the floor. <laughs> Shut up. Very well. Oh, what's that there? Sparking. Anything? No, it's broken. Okay. What's in here? I can hear it. Oh, and we've got something beeping over here. There's generator. It's push X. Oh, keep tapping it. then sign into that. Maybe open the doors outside behind us. Moved our stash. Oh, there's a code. Zero three four zero. Terminal. Okay. Store rooms. Audio. Goodbye. Oh right. Goodbye from Siegeson. I'll go into one of them. Restore power. Select. So, so that door opened on. Oh, there's people! People, do we want to see what the rest of the terminal has to say, or there's some audio there? See if we can catch up with them. Ah, oh, that's just about the decommissioning of this. Play X. Come back out. Okay, so I think this is a good time to save. So, fingers crossed we get to see the alien scene, uh, <laughs> the alien soon. Mm. Um, I think that's what we'll do for, for this episode, folks. We'll mm. call that uh, the first episode. I uh, really hope you had fun in watching uh, as much as we are sick. playing it <laughs> and you're not too seasick. <laughs> uh, I can promise you I'll be having the controller for the next episode. <laughs> so we'll see how that one goes. But uh, please hit the like button uh, if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe for more. And we'll uh, catch you in the next one. You're going to say goodbye. <laughs>